guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my Roulette Pan Collab Project Pan. This project is created by Rebecca and Alexi and they will of course be linked down below. This is the fifth round because they have done two on their own and then two others besides this one when they opened it up for everybody. So this is a rolling roulette project pan and if you haven't watched any of these before rolling means if you finish up a product you roll another one in and roulette is you randomize a category or something like that so you don't know what you get they created a spreadsheet with 50 categories if i'm not mistaken yeah 50 categories and then you randomize 1 to 50 and then you get a product or category and then you connect a product to the category so I chose six products, as you should do, and I got six different categories, three of them which were kind of hard and not very fun, and uh, that also shows in this update. So I will start out with the three categories and the products that I am going to declutter. For the category 42, an item that highlights, sprites, and illuminates and I chose this W7 Lift at Sculpt Face Shaping Contour Palette and it has highlighters and uh, contour shades and I chose the highlight shade. I do not like this shade at all. I have not gravitated towards it. I have used it a few times. I do like the bronzers but I'm not a cream contour highlight bronzer person. So I am going to give this to one of my best friends that is just as much as a makeup junkie than me and she really likes cream products. So this is just going to a better home and it's it's not for me. So I'm going to give this away and then I'm going to choose another category to replace this. Then I got the category number 28 which is a product you wouldn't repurchase and I would not repurchase this bow to the brow, brow product uh, from W7. It is a brow thickener. First of all, that is annoying <laughs> and I can't stand that. And on the other hand, I don't like the product. It spreads everywhere and it's just a mess and I'm not up for it. So I'm going to declutter this product. Not for me. I wanted to have pen on the highlighter and then I wanted to use this 20 times. I used it four times and then I realized I did not like this. The last thing I'm going to declutter is number 48, which is something you consider decluttering. I'm right. I'm going to declutter this. I don't like it. It is a little bit patchy and it's too light and I'm only going to wear a BB cream in the summertime. And this is just a little bit pink and it takes a lot of work just to make this work. I don't like this product. I'm going to trash it because nobody is going to make use out of this because this is crap. So, nope. I have three left. And then we're going to pick three new categories, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Hopefully they are better than the ones I got. So, for a unique product, which is category number 10, I chose my W7 Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss. I really really like this gloss. It's not sticky at all and it's beautiful. So this is actually a gloss that I can wear without anything. So like, it's not annoying to wear. And I'm not a lip gloss person, so that's big. I wanted to use this 20 times as well. I used it four times. I really need to up my game if I want to have another category. But right now I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm not forcing myself to use this. So that's really, really nice. You can see it up close right here. It is beautiful. It is more pink on the lips, which is nice. So, like that one. Category number 45. It is something from a lesser known brand where I chose this Twin It Up. Metallic Cajal Eyeliner, yep, this right here, it is this beautiful metallic coppery shade, I wanted to use this 20 times as well, I only used it 2 times, so I need to use that more as well, but I have until August and I think I can do it, <laughs> I just need to get my hands of things. Okay, then I got number 16, which is a product I regret buying. I chose this uh, eyeshadow single from Kiko Milano, Kiko Makeup Milano, whatever. It is in the shade 133. This is 
this beautiful dark brown reddish shade it seems like it's shimmery or satin like it is not uh, it does not transfer the, the shininess onto eyelids so it's a nice outer corner shade i have used this five times my priority is panda palette my single ladies and my my mat and then this is not a priority but i am using it so that's nice so if i just keep it up i can reach my goal on the products that was the six products and now i'm going to choose three more so i am one to fifty i got a pretty random app i'm really excited so 49 i have not got that it is something that is special to you 33 35 uh, product from colourpop i don't have a product from colourpop but maybe i can let's take that as a product from w7 because i have a lot of that and i don't have any colourpop so the last one is number one which i don't have it is a product with cute painting so i got my three categories and then i will be right back okay i am back um it actually wasn't that hard the one with cute packaging was actually the hardest because i have some products with pa pretty packaging but i guess that's not the same but i just went with it the product that i chose for category number one which was a product with cute packaging you have no idea how many times i tried to say that <laughs> i chose this w7 casino palette and yes, it is a mirror, which is so annoying. It is a blush, highlight and contour palette. It is looking like this. And I think I'm going to work on... Okay, I haven't decided yet, but when this goes up, maybe I have decided. Either the blush or the highlight. Yeah, this is supposed to be a contour. I don't think so. It's a beautiful blush, winter blush. So I'm going to focus either on the highlight or the blush and i think my goal is that i want to have the you know the the icon logo the heart or the spade gone so i think that is my goal so i just need to decide which one of those two i want to work on then i got number 35 which is a product from colourpop i Decided that I wanted to change it up to W7 because I don't own any Colourpop. I never have. <laughs> so I chose my W7 Princess Potion Complexion Booster and Primer. I'm not panning a primer right now, so I, I just used it for the first time today. And this smells like bubble gum. It smells like Huba Booba uh, gum. So it comes with this rubber and this pink thing it's really really nice it is completely new this is the first time i have used this so it has 30 milliliters so let's see how far i can go i cannot see how much uh, this in this or how my progress will be overall but i think i'm trying to finish that i think i can do it then we have number 49 the category number 49 which is a something that is special to you and i chose a lipstick which is not smart but this is the product that i thought of immediately this is an estee lauder lipstick it's a pure color in 82 pink berry it is a lasting cream lipstick this is something my cousin from texas bought me when she visited denmark she had this lipstick and i was obsessed with the color on her it looked so good and we went to a magazine or Sephora where Estee Lauder was and we asked for it and this was the last one that was left because it was going to be discontinued so this is very special to me because he insisted on buying it for me I don't want anyone to buy stuff for me so she insisted and she just bought it even though I said no I could not stop her <laughs> it was kind of funny and so so incredibly sweet because I know Estee Lauder is not cheap and um, so this is very very special to me so I want to use this it is from 2016 so I, I don't know what my goal is either 20 times or use half or something because I don't know if I can use it all it is a sheer 
perfect color <laughs> uh, for me. So maybe I can use it every single day. I have a lot of lipsticks I'm working on. So this is the special makeup product. That is everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love for you to join my little family here on YouTube and until my next... Oh! Before I end this video completely, check out Alexi and Rebecca. You will love them so much. I, I'm obsessed with them. So please check them out if you haven't already and until my next video, please take care. Bye!